Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to replace the cabin air filter for the 2005 to 2010 Chevrolet Cobalts. The vehicle we're specifically working with today is a 2007 Chevrolet Cobalt LS with a 2.2 liter engine. However, the procedure will work on any Cobalt between 2005 and 2010, also known as the first generation Cobalts. Now the part numbers uh, or location, uh, it may differ slightly between each trim or year, but they should all be within the general same area and the procedure should pretty much be the same. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so when locating your cabin air filter, it's gonna be on the passenger side right behind your glove box. So to get to the air filter, we'll need to first remove your glove box. Next, we'll remove the dampener, which is located on the right side of the glove box. This prevents the glove box from slamming open. To remove this, grab both sides, pull down with a little bit of force, and then just simply slide it out. Just be careful not to let it go or you'll have to go find it. Next, we'll get the glove box out of the way. To do this, as you can see, there are two slits on each side. This is so that you can grab the glove box and push in. Now you can push both sides in at the same time and force it down, but what I like to do is I like to start on the left side, push out, bring it down, and then push on the right side and dislodge that one. Then you can simply set the glove box down. With the glove box now out of the way, we have a clear view of our air filter panel. To remove this, we'll remove the three clips that are located on the top. One two, and three. Once those three are unclipped, simply set that to the side and we have a clear view of our air filter. Now, we can reach in, grab it, and slide it on out. Once it's out, take your air filter and set it to the side. Next, we'll install the air filter. When installing your new air filter, Make sure the arrows for your air filter are pointed down. You don't want the arrow pointing up because the airflow for this vehicle is down. That's why all the debris is up top. So just take your new air filter, slide it on until it's flush like that. And then you can take your panel and clip it in place like so. Once that's done, we can install our glove box. When reinstalling the glove box, we're going to pick it up, slide it in till it meets the lip here. And kind of like earlier, you can either push both sides in or I'm just gonna do the opposite of what I, of how I removed it, which is grab this right side, push it in till it's over that lip, take the left side and push that in until it's over the lip and your glove box is in place. Next, we'll reinstall the dampener, which will be located right behind here. You can just reach in and pull it out like so. Wrap it around, bring it into the slot, and push it up until it clicks into place like so. With the dampener now in place and the glove box all set, close it on up and you have completed installing your new air filter. All right, I hope this video helped y'all out today and that you learned something new. Thank y'all so much for checking out the video, and I will see y'all next time. Until then.